Welcome to this short tutorial on a new feature on Bot Society, which is the options feature. So to explain more about this, um, I want to go into the way that conversations are designed. So when we design a conversation, we want to be able to branch out into different paths and you know, organize the conversation the way we want to. This includes, among others, having a happy path, which is your first path with messages, and including um, first level, second level, or higher um, repair paths. Um, in order to do this, um, you can use the create path feature on Bot Society, as well as you can use our connections and link messages. However, Another way of doing this is by adding message types which um, already have buttons or quick replies or choices in them. And then by doing this um, before, you we would automatically create new paths. So branch out the conversation based on uh, all the choices that were included in the message. And in this new update, um, we've created three different options that you can follow in order to uh, structure your conversation the way that you want to. These three options, which I'll show you now, also have different use cases. So I want to touch a little bit on that so that you're able to um, structure your conversation in the most effective way possible. So uh, to begin, uh, let's start by adding a message and I'm gonna go ahead and pick a I'm gonna go ahead and pick a message um, with uh, quick replies so first I'll just add this uh, text message And um, just so you know, I'm designing for Facebook Messenger right now, but almost every preset, um, so every messaging channel um, has these message types like quick replies buttons, carousels with buttons, etc. that uh, are able to ask the user for that interaction. So clicking the message and then they can also divide the conversation in multiple branches. So here I'm going to go with quick replies and I'll just say, you know, making an account, um, changing your password, um, checking delivery status. So in this use case of how I've used the quick replies, um, when I want to add the message, I'm going to be uh, prompted with this dialogue um, so it says uh, new buttons choose what you want uh, the first option is that all of the choices should have their own dedicated path this adds one path so one of these um, for each choice and then you're able to go and develop the conversation based on um, that particular use case as you might be able to guess this use case here uh, is along the lines of this first option. So um, the conversation starts and if I, since these are different use cases that the bot can help with, um, I can branch them out and create new conversations for all of them. If the, if all of these led to the same answer by the bot, I can choose the second option, which is I'll continue to design messages on this path, no new paths will be added. And then, the th which I wouldn't recommend for this particular use case because these are all different action items and they all have different intents. Um, so when you're building the bot, you want the bot to return a different answer to the user based on which option the user picks. So I would either want to go with the first option, so each of these have uh, their own dedicated path, or go with the last option, which is that the first choice uh, will continue on the current path since that is the main use case, and then the other choices will have their own dedicated paths. So um, here I'll just go with the first option and then once you click 
um, we prompt you to place the path somewhere. And so here, um, as you can see now, those are connected to making an account, changing your password, and checking deliver delivery status. So um, moving on, uh, if I if I want to um, further develop this, what I could do is, let's say over here, checking delivery status. Um, if I click on the path, we open the bot message editor. So in this case, checking delivery status, um, I can say, uh, do you know your uh, confirmation code? If yes, I'll just add this. And now I, again, want quick replies. And I'm just using quick replies because they're easier in this case. So yes and no. Um, in this case, yes is the happy path. It's the best case scenario. No is a repair path. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick the last option, which is yes gets added as a message in this path, and then no gets added as a repair path in uh, on the side. So if I want to continue here, I could say, um, you know, all right, what's your your last name and the date you ordered, um, something like this. And then once the user says, um, once say this is solved, um, this can be linked back to this path. So if it led back to um, another message here, which is Great, I found your order. See, this allows you to link back your repair path. Yep. Um, so, in addition to those two options, there's also the option that um, all the options added will lead to the same scenario. So in this case, this could be something like, um, let's say something along the lines of there's a product or there's a range of products that, that gets shown to the user uh, in the chat from the bot. So um, say there's different items of clothing uh, or appliances or anything and then the title can be you know item one um, we can have item two and then uh, I'll just leave this and here it'll say um, add to cart so no matter which item is added to cart the no matter which item is added to the cart, um, the response is going to be the same. So this is, yeah. So both of these uh, buttons will lead to this scenario. So I hope that um, in this way, we're helping you create these connections between um, your messages in an easier and faster way instead of having to go in and do this all by yourself. And we hope that the options we've presented you with are um, cover most of the use cases that you're working with. As always, feel free to reach out with feedback or any suggestions that you have about this topic. Thank you.